I think creativity has a place in every area of business, even a CPA's office, a lawyer's office, there's room for it everywhere. And I think like creativity gets smashed, you know, in our school systems in a lot of cases because it's not given priority. They prioritize math and science over everything else. There is no creative department. You stop drawing when you leave kindergarten. There's no art department. I think I drew like one lion when I was in high school. <laughs> They should have an art department the same size as the science department. And you should be able to try stuff over and over and over and over until you find something you like. Everyone's under so much pressure to like figure stuff out. Oh, I gotta figure it out by the time I'm 20 or 22 or whatever, it's, it's not true. You try stuff until something sets you on fire. And then when something sets you on fire, then you feed that thing. And it's different for everybody, everybody's different. But if you try, you will find something that sets you on fire can apply to a factory worker, it can apply to somebody working and doing fulfillment. I mean, you can you can apply creativity anywhere. And <clears throat> if you feel like you don't have the ability, if you feel like at your workplace, let's say you're working in a warehouse, and you feel like you don't have an opportunity to be creatively expressive, but you can through human connection, you can have an effect on another person, your coworker, through creative expression. You can have an impact on it. That's the purpose of creativity, is to affect change. That's the essence of creativity. So you can have an effect on another person by showing them your light in a warehouse or wherever, digging trenches, doing gravel, whatever. 